Hello, so how to model this coin? We are going to do this right now. New first. We don't need the cube. I'm going to put the hotkeys here. Here. So the cube X and first I'm going to put an image of the coin, the um, side of the coin. So this, so you see the, the side is like this. First we're going to make this and then fill with this face. I'm going to put this here. So shift A and then put a plane. Top view, S, X, like this. And then we're going to make a circle and put this around to create this part. X like this. And then we can apply the scale, command A, apply scale. Tab to go in edit mode and then control R to create some loop cuts here. We can put um, 18 like this. Um, click escape A to select everything and go in face select. And then we can do um, select and then checker deselect to deselect like this. And we need, so this is going to be the end and um, the um, start and then attach to this. So we don't need this face x delete faces a and then check your deselect like this and then this part we can do i like this to make this inset like this like this and then move this g z like this okay and now we can get these edges and uh, extrude them down. So edge select, alt click, and we don't need this shift click, only these. And then E to extrude and Z. Like um, this. So this is this part here like this and then we have this done now we are going to put a circle a curve curve and then put circle this rotate r y 90 like this and this is going to follow this circle and we can put this smaller s like this and then go in the modifiers of the plane add modifier and curve curve you can select this curve here the deform change the deform at uh, minus y like this so this is on the curve and then we can um, disable it in the viewport like this and we can put the modifier array to array this and put more so we can put um, factor x 0 and we want to array on y so we can put 1 and make sure it is following so if we put 1.1 it's like this so it's exactly 1 here. And also you can select merge. So uh, if we go in wireframe on the side here, these points, this one and this one, and these are going to merge. These we can put merge this 
and then we can put more and put the um, curve modifier back and drag it after the array like this so it is following like this and then on the array modifier put more count like this and here what we can do it is put is a get the busy circle and scale s so it is exactly touching and you can uh, do shift so you can scale very slowly like this like this and then we have the um, this part of the coin now we can um, apply the array and the curve so we can do apply all if you don't have apply all you can go in edit preferences in the add-ons modifier interface modifier tools you can check this to have the apply all this so now tab is like this and to make sure uh, the points are all merged you can do a to select everything in edit mode m merge by distance like this so mine it is removed zero so all was fine so now what we can do is edit mode edge select and then select um, first you can select this and this shift alt click get this and then you need to put this part down so we can do e to extrude then escape then do s x scale on x we do like this um, like this and then we can get this alt click and then fill this face here we are going to do face and then grid fill and then uh, it's not working if it is not working you see select two edge loops or single closed edge this means this is not closed so to make sure this, this is closed m merge by distance zero so we need to close this so we can do add modifier and put the weld modifier and i don't know where the opening is So I can put the weld here. Distance put more. Until um, these are collapsing. So distance put more. You see it is doing this. We don't want this. So put here. And then apply. Now we can try again this. Alt click. Paste grid fill. And now it is working. So now we have a face here. And what we can do is you can mirror it. If your thickness here is too big, what you can do is create a loop cut here. So control R in edit mode here, click escape, go on top view, um, 
vertex select and on x-ray. So the side with the face is on the right here. So you can get all of these on the left, x and then delete. So we only have one part now. Like this and go in the modifiers, add modifier and then put the mirror. Now it is mirroring. So if you want to make this um, to make this bigger, go in X-ray, select the right part, GX. Now it is mirroring. So if you want a thick uh, coin, you can put like this, or a thinner coin like this. I'm going to put like this. Now, what we need to do, so we have the site here. We need to make the little um, engraving here. So to do this, you need an image. So I made an image. Uh, it is just a text. Now what this, you can write whatever or you can draw something. And then we are going to displace it on the coin. So first in the modifiers, add modifier and I'm going to put a subdivision surface here. And now it is subdividing. If you want to keep the shape of the coin first, you need to put a bevel. Bevel modifier, drag it here and the mirror, you can drag it at the end. This. So the bevel you can put just a little bit, like 0.05. Put more segments, this. Put it just a little bevel here. And then the subdivision, you can put it at three. So we can displace this coin. If we put it in the viewport, it's going to look like this. So add a modifier and then displace. Now the mirror, we can drag it after and in the displace, we don't want to displace all of the coin. We just want to displace um, the face. So go in edit mode, face select and you can select this face. So to select the face, we can um, do C, get this tool, put it bigger. and click so we get everything and then this face we are going to put it here in the vertex here so the displace is only on this face. So we can go in object data properties and then vertex groups, put plus and with the face selected, click assign. And now in the displace modifier, we can put it back here and put the subdivision. Um, here we can get our group. Now it is only displacing on the face. So now, we click new to add a new texture and then click here to go in the texture tab and type image so we need to open the image so the text that i have here and it is doing like this so what we need to do is go in the modifier and um, coordinate here click uv and then get the uv map and direction I want to put X so the displacement is on this axis and now um, first tab you go in edit mode A 
you select everything and you unwrap and do cube projection here now go back in object mode and now we have this the text here and now we can adjust the strength here I'm going to put less like this and then in the texture tab here we can go in sampling and size here put more so it is a little bit blurry and smoother you can put at uh, 15 like this right click shade smooth now it is smooth like this and i'm going to add a new displace um to have a little more texture on the coin so add modifier and displace and i can put the vertex here the same like this i can put it uh, before the this one so first the texture and the text here so here i can put a new so it is texture 002 i can put uv uh, get the uv map direction get x and then click here to open the texture tab and i'm going to put a um, you can put for example noise i think it's going to be good and put less um here in the modifiers you want to little to add a little uh, noise this for example i'm gonna put the marble here and you can see the image here the preview we can put magic and the strength i'm going to put more so the magic is going to do like this and this grave like this i think the uh, marble is the best like this and you can change the size want more or less I'm going to put like this like this and the mid level 0.6 so it goes more on the inside here and now we have the coin like this and if you don't want the text the other text you need to get the mirror put it at first here or put it here no at first and just apply the mirror and then the displacement so now the vertex is this and this so the vertex group we need only on one face so go here see get this in edit mode can select this this we don't need to get everything like this uh, go in vertex group and assign and we need to deselect the other part um, so do command i to invert the selection do remove and then command i assign and now the coin ready and you can put materials and everything on it.